An unwelcome visitor creating a big threat to the Everglades ecosystem, the entire ecosystem. We're not talking about pythons or any other reptile. It is a plant that is sending environmentalists scrambling, looking for a solution. The Now's Jason Hackett is live at the Loxahatchee Wildlife Refuge for us this afternoon to tell us what's being done to stop it in its tracks. Jason? Hey Shannon, this is the plant we're talking about. It originated in Asia, made its way to Florida, somewhere in the Hope Sound area, and it has been spreading for decades ever since. And that is not good news for the ecosystem here in Florida. We hopped in an airboat today with Rolf Olson, manager of the Loxahatchee Wildlife Refuge. In between the grasses and trees teeming with wildlife was this. Ligodium, also known as the old world climbing fern, taking over tree islands and damaging the ecosystem. The strong, persistent plants cover the trees here, blocking their sunlight and eventually killing them. It spells bad news for the animals that depend on these areas. There are a whole bunch of animals that use these tree islands. They're most important for wading birds who nest and roost on these tree islands. Um, snail kites roost on these, um, Everglades snail kites. Deer get up on these tree islands. Efforts are being made to stop the spread of the plant, including prescribed burns and introducing pests to kill it. But Olson says the continued spread of Ligodium could force many animals to adapt or else. It's pretty much destroying the home for a lot of the animals that use the Everglades. Now, millions of dollars are being used uh, by state and federal governments to stop the spread of this in Florida. But new at 530 will tell you why some say it's not enough and what they want to see be done about this issue. Live in Loxahatchee, Jason Hackett for the Now South Florida. Jason.